Hi folks, Mr. Long here. I'm going to do a screencast on uh, making some connections between all the different algebraic representations of um, lines. And my apologies if you hear a dog bark here. I have a uh, two-year-old lab that is wanting to play right now when I'm trying to get this done. So he may just bark at me. Okay, so um, here we go. So I'm just gonna kind of roll roll through uh, the process here. Uh, and so what we're doing is we're starting out with this form right here of the equation, okay? So um, so that's, you know, that's what we're looking at right now. And um, so we're gonna look at this equation right here. And we're gonna take that and we're gonna represent it in y equals fmx plus b form and also in, a, in um, x over a plus y over b equals one. Okay, and that would be my dog uh, with his squeaky toy. Okay, so first things first, let's put it into x over a plus y over b form, or the x and y intercept form. So the original equation, hopefully that's not driving you nuts. Um, so 20x minus 30y equals negative 300. So I added, I subtracted 300 by, on both sides to get to, to make sure that there was a constant term on the right side. So the right side with this form, which by the way is x over a plus y over b equals one. I want to make it look that way. So I know that I've got a, on the right side of the equation, I've got a 1, which means the only way to make the right side worth 1 is to take that negative 300 and divide by negative 300. But I have to do that to both sides. Okay, so I'm going to divide by negative 300 there and there. So if I look at that, and that does, that makes sense, um, I'm going to end up with 20 over negative 300 and negative 30 over negative 300. But if I look at the form of the equation, there's no number in front of x or y, which it means it's a 1. So I have to take that 20 and divide by 20. But I don't have an equivalent fraction unless I divide by 20 on the bottom. So I divide the top by 20, the bottom by 20. Here I've got negative 30y, which means I have to divide the top by negative 30 and the bottom by negative 30. So negative 300 divided by, ne by 20 is negative 15. And then negative 300 divided by negative 30 is positive 10. Okay, so, and if you notice, there's a negative divided by a negative, which makes a positive, so that makes sense. So your x-intercept is then negative 15, and your y-intercept is positive 10. Okay, x-intercept negative 15, y-intercept positive 10. Okay, and we could draw a sketch from there. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and we're going to take the form that we just had, and we're going to put it into y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so now what sorts of things will I need to do? Well, I've got this form of the equation right now, x over negative 15 plus y divided by 10 equals 1, and I have to get y by itself. Okay, the whole goal is to get y by itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is consider bed mass operations. So right there, there's our bed mass operation. So the first thing that's being done to y is being divided by 10. Divide by 10. The next thing I see is I'm adding x over negative 15. Well, adding x divided by negative 15 is the same thing as subtracting x over 15. So what are the inverses of that? Well, the opposite of adding is, or subtracting is adding. So I'm adding x over 15 and I'm multiplying by 10. So now what I need to do is to apply that to the right side of the equation, which is 1. So I have 1, and the first thing I do is add x over 15, right? Right there. Now the next thing I need to do is to multiply by 10, but I multiply everything by 10. So that 1 gets multiplied by 10, and the x over 15 gets multiplied by 10. 1 times 10 is 10. x over 15 times 10 is 10x over 15. And then that simplifies to, well, 10 over 15 simplifies to two-thirds, and then I put it in y equals mx plus b form. Which is two-thirds x plus 10. Which does make a lot of sense because if I look at this, 
I've got there's a y-intercept of 10 there, and I had a y-intercept in this form of y over 10 as well. Okay, let's look down below now. And now I need to take this form we've got right here. Ax, that's Ax, that's By, and that's C equals 0. And now I'm going to put it into y equals mx plus b form. So again, I'm isolating for the y. So let's begin with the bed mass operations. First thing in front of the y is to multiply by negative 30. Multiply by negative 30. The next thing is to add 300. Adding 300. The last thing is to add 20x. Add 20x. And then do the inverse of that. Minus 20x minus 300. Divide by negative 30. So after that, what we want to do is to start simplifying. And you can sort of disregard um, the negative 30y equals negative 20x. Um, I was going to start to do it a different way, but um, we'll just um, we'll get rid of that. Um, whoops, a daisy. So we'll just forget about that for now. We don't need to worry about that. So uh, what I needed to do is that I applied my uh, inverse operations to create y, y equals, and everything gets applied to zero. So I start with zero subtract 20x. Well, that's negative 20x. And then um, I had to minus 300, so I minus 300. And then I have to divide everything by negative 30. Okay, negative 30, negative 30. Negative 20 divided by negative 30, and negative over a negative is a positive. And then that reduces to 2 thirds. And then 300, negative 300 divided by negative 30, is positive 10. Now, if I've done this right, I've gotten y equals mx plus b in two totally different ways, I hopefully I would get the right answer. So in this form, I got 2 thirds x plus 10, and down here I also got 2 thirds x plus 10. Now, if I look at the graph, and by the way, the graph, where I got this graph from was right here, because x divided by negative 15 means the x-intercept is negative 15, y divided by 10 means the y-intercept is 10. So if I look at this, does this make sense? Well, let's see. m would equal delta y over delta x. Remember that I always go left to right. So if I start at 15, I go right by 15 to get to 0, and then I go up by 10. So that slope would be the rise is 10, the run is 15. And if I reduce those, that to lowest terms for a fraction, that would be 2 thirds. So m equals 2 thirds, which is exactly what I got. I got 2 thirds for the slope, and I got 10 for the y-intercept. So everything seems to have checked out. Okay, folks, so take your time. Go back over this. Take a look at what was being done. Um, <laughs> listen to the, the squeaky toy again. Uh, hopefully it helps a bit. I know this is, this is algebra. is pretty tough stuff. Um, but look, look it over again, pause it, um, and then use it while you're completing uh, that homework page. Um, you can even look at it step by step and, and just follow the steps that apply to your equations. Okay, have a great night.